Bel Sheet, Bara Elohim. In the beginning, the Lord God created the heavens and the earth. That's today's Torah portion. of Hebrews it says there is now still a time of rest for my people today when you hear his voice harden not your heart and you have entered into his rest hey burden has been placed over my shoulders and in my heart and I'm not so used to heavy burdens because the Lord says my burden is light my yoke is easy so when a burden is placed on us I think the Lord is saying if I if I put a burden on you so that you can lift it up and give it to me so I can tend to it. and as long as we don't do what we're supposed to do the burden remains but as we do what we're called to do then the burden is removed a few days ago was a national day of prayer and I was walking around and praying and I just felt, I felt that the Spirit of the Lord said, don't be at peace because you're okay. Don't be at peace because your house is okay. Don't be at peace because your health is okay. Know that I've placed you here as an ambassador so that you can lift up this nation ask of me and I will give you the nations don't wait don't wait for the nation to repent repent on behalf of the nation don't wait for the nation to humble itself humble on its behalf and so what I'm about to do here is what I see the Spirit of the Lord doing in my heart and I'm gonna ask you to extend your hands extend your hands to the front as I do this on behalf of the United States of America. Father, we bring the United States of America before you and we humble it, humble it to the ground and ask you, you to lift it up from a low place of humility and humbleness, O oh God.
where the Lord says, come let us return to the Lord. He has humbled us, he has broken us. He has broken us. But in three days, he will mend us. He will lift us up. Father God, before the heavens, Father God, before witnesses, Father God, before the angels, Father God, we have lowered this nation to the ground. And we cry out to you, Father God. We ask, Father God, that you cause us to repent, oh God, for being so worried that we have forgotten our children, so concerned with finances that we don't realize that you said this day you will provide everything we need, oh God. Let repentance come to your house first, oh God. Let repentance come to your house, oh God. First and foremost, Father God, Husbands, Father God, as husbands we repent, Father God, for not being a true expression of Yeshua to our brides, oh God. Thank you, Father, as sons, Father God, as daughters, Father God, we repent for not lifting up and honoring our fathers and our mothers, oh God. For your word says, honor your father and your mother, that your days, that your days, that your days may be extended and blessed in this earth. Thank you, Father. Forgive us, Father. Forgive us, Father. Forgive us, Father, for committing murder. For every time we've opened up our mouth to speak against somebody, to speak a word against somebody, we are murdering their character. We're murdering the plans that you have for their life. Forgive us, Father, for the things we've spoken against ministries, for the things we've spoken about neighbors, for the things we've spoken against people who have done wrong to us, Father God. Let us open our mouth and say, forgive them, Father. We say they're not guilty, they're not guilty, they're not guilty. Forgive them for they did not know what they were doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Father, let repentance come, oh God. Let repentance come, Father God. Let repentance come, Father God. Yeah. The Father's burning, burning a word inside of you. Do not hold it back. Do not hold it back. Do not hold it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do not hold it back. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh. Oh. So when I came in, uh, God immediately put Psalm 35 on my heart, and my Bible has been open to that the whole time, where the Lord, the avenger of his people, and he says, plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me, fight against those who fight against me, take hold a shield and buckler, and stand up for my help, also draw out the spear, and stop those who pursue me, say to my soul, I am your salvation, let those be put to shame and brought to dishonor who seek after my life. Let those be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my hurt. We can go on and on and read about this, but the bottom line is, is God is saying, plead those who don't know him stand in the gap for those who don't know so lord we just we plead and we stand in the gap for those who don't know you lord we stand in the gap for those who don't know better lord so we just come before you and we plead for the people of america lord we plead for the people of the nations lord we stand in the gap for those who don't know let us bear witness let our light shine bright let us hide under the bushes no more Lord let us stand out and shine brighter shine brighter shine brighter shine brighter shine brighter and not be of a Christianese or a Hebrew or a Buddhist or anything but just shine the light of Jesus in our smiles in our eyes in our in our hands in our works in our feet because it's not what we say it's what we do it's by example it's by love it's by love it's by love so, Lord, I just ask that you just send, send the workers, Lord. Send the servants, Lord. So, Lord, just touch everyone here and just show them, Lord, how to be of your servanthood, not of a pulpit, Lord, not of a... Um, 
not of a ministry, Lord, just of you, just being of your devotion and just shine, Lord. Just teach us how to shine like you called us to be, Lord, your people, shining bright for your kingdom to shine, to bring back your people, your people who have been held in bondage, Lord, for far too long. Just let the shackles fall off your people and This is a very holy moment as a nation has been symbolically lowered to the ground. It is at this moment that the Father's ear is inclined to hear. He is inclined to hear for we humble ourselves and he listens when we humble ourselves. Thank you. congregation in the northwest corner and in the nation and in the world thank you for raising up Daniels and Josephs to lead your people from death into life in Jesus name strong in my heart to come before the Lord and say that we repent. We repent that we've allowed abortions to be essential services. Ah! We allowed, we allowed, we the, your people, Father, allowed your churches to be called an entertainment and to be shut down while the liquor establishments were left open. We repent, Father. We repent for not letting your light shine brighter, for not being your people, for not saying that the house of the living God is not an entertainment. It is a necessity for not only for us, but for all of those people that don't know what they long for, that don't know what they're seeking, that don't know you. And we thank you, Father, for offering your forgiveness and allowing us to shine your light brighter 
from this moment on that this country will know that we are a country, not just a congregation, but a country of the living God. And thank you for your forgiveness, Father. man of God named David Wilkerson back in 1986 prophesied this. He says, I see a plague coming on the world and the bars, churches and government will be shut down. The plague will hit New York City and shake it like it has never been shaken. The plague is going to force prayerless believers into radical prayer and into their Bibles and repentance will be the cry from the man of God in the pulpit. And out of it will come a third great awakening that will sweep America and the world. So Father, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for the great shaking. I thank you, Father that there's gold that's going to come out of the shaking, Lord, where man has looked to the world for their prosperity, Father. On their knees, they will see where true prosperity comes from. It comes from our God, the maker of heaven and earth. So forgive us, Lord for serving idols, for serving man, for serving others when it was not of you, for serving society, for serving government, for serving the entertainment, Whoa. serving the entertainment. Thank you for calling back the prodigals. I thank you, Lord, for your great love and mercy. 
that you continually go after the one, continually go after the one, continually go after the one. You are relentless in your love, Lord. And Father, your people need that same relentless love that they push through adversity, that they push through persecution. So people see the love of the Father in us. So Father, we just ask for more love. We need more love, Lord. People will know us by our love. So, Father, we thank you for that spirit of adoption. Because once we know who we are, there's no stopping your glory. There's no stopping your church. There's no stopping your children. More love, Lord. your voice on behalf of those who've been set for destruction. Hey, <laughs> who will cry, who will cry for those set for destruction? Oh, oh, oh. As I was walking up and down on the halls of this church, wants me to sing the song. This is the song that cries out from a pool of blood. Hey. This is a song that cries out from dismembered little fingers and little feet. This is what I hear them singing right now. Piece by piece, he's collecting me. Piece by piece, he's collecting me. Peace by peace, 
is forgiving me peace by peace is forgiving me peace by peace is forgiving me he's restoring me peace by peace is restoring me peace by peace Restoring me, peace by peace is restoring me, peace by peace is restoring me, he's anointing me, peace by peace, he's anointing me, peace by peace. Anointing me, peace by peace, his anointing me, peace by peace, his anointing me to release me, peace by peace, he's releasing me. Yeah. By peace, he's releasing me. Peace by peace, he's releasing me. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You bring the mountains, Lord. Father said, ask of me and I will give you the nations right now. Right now. You have the authority to have the nation, this nation, in the very palm of your hands. And as we symbolically lift it up from the ashes, I just ask you that you will raise your hands slowly as you lift up this nation before the Lord. So the Lord is all around His people. 
Show his mercy over you. May he give you his perfect peace. 